it's a great pleasure to work with you and uh, i hope that we all will enjoy uh, our last seminar our last debates uh, and the second reason is that we will have a very interesting presentation today about um, as i suppose the most uh, difficult areas financial service and debates of this team um, in the end of the lesson i would like to say about uh, the next steps about your scores uh, everything is okay don't worry but i need uh, a few days to uh, confer the terms with uh, Ivan Mitrich and Vitaly uh, Sergeyevich uh, and uh, shall return with your scores until the end of the week. Uh, and now, um, on the second one, I would like to say that uh, each team, please uh, send me your teammates, the set of the list of your teammates. Uh, it is necessary for uh, the office to confirm that uh, each team works and uh, each of the team member uh, is um, a participant of our seminars too. Um, that's all. Uh, I will uh, write it uh, in the chat uh, that nobody forget it. And uh, so uh, let's get started with the first presentation of finance, financial services. You're welcome. Please share your screen and we're waiting for your presentation. We can hardly hear you, unfortunately. Yes, Francis, someone here from the team uh, financial services here. And uh, if there is, please um, share your presentation. Uh, someone else uh, started to do it, but uh, the connection was very bad and uh, we don't hear absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, we cannot share our presentation. One, uh, uh, one out oh, oh, Okay. Can you can you share this? Yes, but sound is crazy bad. Can you hear me? We can hear you, but we can't uh, recognize uh, some of your words. Uh, you have some problems with internet connection. Okay. So um, today we will talk again about the financial platform of Liberty. Jika, I'm sorry, but you have a very, very bad internet connection. Please. Could you please mm -hmm. reconnect it again because um, we couldn't understand what you tried to say. Uh, okay, today we will talk again about the financial platform of Libertech. First, we will look at the business uh -huh. model and the security partners is uh, subscriber payment systems and uh -huh. site can easier to make cash transactions. Also, in partners in Libertech company, engaged in analytics who are important to traders. 
by the way traders and just people who want to earn money faster using the success of analytical abilities as the key users of the site. However, this usage cannot communicate at all because the platform is not created for communication but for making money. Liberty Act exists as the expense of commissions uh, that they take for each transaction and attracts convenience and simplicity to use, which makes people to come back again and again. So uh, on this slide, you can see that um, that uh, the reason we have tried to uh, describe the business model uh, of uh, our company, and this business model will be uh, clearly and uh, in, uh, described in details uh, during our whole presentation. Here we will uh, point out the key key um, elements of uh, business model in uh, of uh, and uh, here you can see that we have mentioned um, key partners uh, key activities uh, it's of course trading uh, and uh, our platform uh, give one uh, more uh, features more um, service for the users and uh, there is uh, some uh, channels uh, where the users can uh, users can perform certain uh, certain activities. And uh, on the next slide, you can see uh, in details the model the the model uh, which we have presented on the second slide. Here we have decided to uh, estimate Libertex business model by value capture, value delivery, uh, and uh, the value creation. Uh, key uh, revenue stream is the commission. They charge certain fees for inference for new cars. And of course, uh, this uh, mechanism uh, is um, fixed by platform. And there is no discrimination, but, but uh, at the beginning, there, there was some price discrimination in order to grasp as more or as uh, customers as possible. Uh, revenue source, it's of course uh, customers, it's uh, not uh, companies, uh, it's just customers, uh, just users like uh, students or people who are engaged in the uh, trading. Uh, of delivery, the second part of their uh, uh, well distribution, here you can see that uh, they try to focus on uh, the key value uh, proposition is uh, to um, uh, is uh, that uh, they are focused on price. They try to minimize the cost and increase the efficiency for both for customers and uh, for uh, business too. And of course, it's uh, they try to cover uh, and uh, supply a financial product and. Uh, uh, participants uh, who are uh, involved in this uh, platform, they are mainly uh, simple uh, customers and companies who try to buy certain um, a certain asset or invest in certain other business in order to in order to get some profit or manipulate in the market. Uh, geographic it's global. There are clients from 100 countries. The third part it's value creation firm type uh, they have both a uh, website and the mobile uh, mobile apps uh, they are libertas uh, app and the uh, uh, four or five there are many of them and uh, the key activities is uh, trading. of course before trading they offer study for newcomers they give some uh, life hacks for newcomers to and uh, to manage in this platform of course, they are delivering, uh, they are sharing some new information, some news about the financial market, about the politics that can influence uh, on um, the uh, market uh, situation. The uh, discovery, uh, as I have mentioned, this is a, a and of course, they uh, have uh, some fees for each transactions, which is fixed by 
platform and there is no uh, any kind of restrictions or limitations by certain government authorities and the last one they have to analyze the business and create their process the, the process of uh, this platform based on the feedback of uh, users and they have some measures that um, estimate the uh, Linux performance. This is all about the values. Uh, on this slide, uh, you can see, uh, as, have, as we have mentioned on the first uh, presentation, we have tried to repeat the uh, uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, Libertex platform in order to uh, show uh, how the values of Libertex platform uh, can be analyzed from both sides, the uh, disadvantages and the advantages. They have a minimum price. This is a competitive uh, advantage in the market. And uh, uh, of course, of course, uh, this price uh, in some in some regions is low. This this is why it can be disadvantage of this platform. But mainly uh, based on the feedback from users, it's uh, advantages in developed countries. And uh, there is a high risk of losing money. Uh, it is now it's very uh, risky platform because they have a uh, certain users and they don't try to grasp uh, newcomers. They are not new in the market. They try to work with the professionals and uh, to exclude newcomers in order to increase the level of manipulation in their in their market in the stock market. Advantages. Uh, it's uh, convenient because newcomers, for example, uh, based on my experience, I get new uh, informations, new uh, tools, uh, implementations in this platform. Uh, it's, very fast, it's very simple to uh, use. Uh, they offer uh, new ways uh, of uh, increasing the income uh, and uh, for especially for uh, newcomers. And as they try to uh, uh, to keep the contact with the uh, with the uh, users and some brokers, uh, and of course, if you uh, if uh, if the users can't afford certain uh, certain they can't afford to manipulate or uh, to trade in these platforms, they offer some uh, amount of money in order to. Uh, uh, the engagement uh, in this platform. This is uh, all about the advantages and disadvantages of Libertex uh, platform. Okay, uh, rules and regulations. The basic trading principle within the Libertex platform is that the result of a trade changes in proportion to the price of the underlying asset. The, the trade is based on to manage your money more effectively. You can use leverage which is set when you open a trade. Leverage is the value that determines how the trade result changes relative to the underlying asset price. Libertech is a trading platform used by indication investment, uh, which is regulated and supervised by the Cyprus Securities and Exchange Commission. The company has the right to conduct business and provide services indicated in the document as per the investment services regulation the Investment Business Act and the Investment Services and Activities in Regulated Markets as subsequently amended. And the last one uh, is about the social effects. Uh, so the problem with labor tax is quite ambiguous uh, regarding uh, the problem of uh, distribution and redistribution of finances. Uh, but the first positive effect is uh, that Libertex, it promotes uh, the distribution of knowledge and skills of investment. So it uh, kind of raises uh, the level of awareness um, among uh, beginners in investing and so on. And next one is uh, uh, this platform has a quite low level of entry to the platform. And this 
else not to uh, accumulate capital for a long time. So you just found you just find this platform, um, study, and then you you are welcome to begin. And the next one is that the here the exist the regulations so the insurance coverage exists in case of bankruptcy or license revocations and also the forex uh, as a as a main head of libertex also protects you from this uh, in case that something goes wrong they they would uh, just put um, this platform to the blacklist and uh, here are the negative ones. So the first one that um, this is quite common problem for platforms uh, that excessive use leads to psychological damage and this may cause mental health issues. Um, the next one is about that. Um, this is quite ambiguous problem as I said earlier that uh, on the one hand, um, you're welcome to invest, but on the other, maybe you should uh, obtain some knowledge uh, because we're on waste management of finances. So this is called uh, the lack of professionalism. Uh, this could lead to, so this launches uh, the chain that could reach um, the governmental level so this could lead to the capital outflow abroad because just the money they you lose they stay in platform so this might lead to the state regulation and addictions so the they have talked about this in a previous uh, presentation and also there exists uh, the risks of increasing inequality so because of unprofessionalism of some investors, so they lose money, others just increase the profitable, the profits and the founders may increase their profits and so on. Uh, I guess this is all. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, team transfer, please, you're welcome to debate stage. Three questions. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you for your presentation. Uh, well, uh, to um, to start, um, in your presentation, you mentioned that uh, your platform um, doesn't have uh, price discrimination. Um, so we've got a question about it. Uh, do you know any other platform uh, that uh, doesn't have price discrimination too? Okay, okay, it's very interesting question. So actually, uh, platforms they uh, they actually should have some price discrimination in order to charge different uh, consumers, and uh, the consumers uh, segments they are not aware and they can't be aware about the charging. Uh, as it's uh, as it's uh, in the in traditional market, but in our case, the beginning of their um, both social and social platforms have uh, no any restriction for customers, uh, but, uh, but uh, then some uh, limitations, some discriminations for. Uh, uh, customers, uh, why they don't have some um, discrimination discrimination uh, rules for for at the beginning? Because they should grasp as many as possible users of platforms uh, in order to wide uh, their service and try to um, and trying to share with them free interesting. That's why they uh, don't use price discrimination at the beginning, but then they use. Okay, thank you for your answer. Uh, so in your presentation, you 
um, also mentioned uh, that your platform uh, as a pricing mechanism um, uh, has a fixed pricing uh, scheme. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, how do you think uh, is a fixed uh, pricing mechanism uh, used in crowd in a uh, crowdfunding? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for interruption. I saw back. Uh, you have any problems uh, with the internet connection? Could someone else of your team answer this question? Uh, or maybe you uh, could reconnect it again because uh, it's hard to listen to your answers. I'm so sorry, but uh, any problems with connection? Please, what maybe about someone now? else is. Uh, what? Uh, do you see me? Uh, do you hear me? Now, yes. Okay. I can respond. Oh, it's great. Okay. Uh, so uh, for this question, uh, thank you for your question. Uh, the response uh, for this question was mentioned on our lecture, and I will repeat it. Um, for for putting the project on the crowdfunding platforms, they charge a fixed price for it. For so uh, for this purpose. Um, we use this uh, fixed process mechanism in crowdfunding for posting the project only. I hope uh, it's clear. Your, uh, your voice uh, and your sound uh, was uh, interrupted several times, but okay. Um, a general everyone understood. Okay, uh, please for the next question, someone else saw this. Yes, um, uh, in comparison with uh, Libertex with uh, uh, traditional investment, investing, uh, you mentioned that Libertex increase availability of investing, like overall uh, by their advantages. So, uh, and there, there is a point about the risk of growth of inequality in social effects. How it can, like, uh, this contradiction can be explained that at the same time they increase the availability of investing and uh, uh, support the growth of inequality? Mm, I believe that, but in general, since we kind of live in a, an era of capitalism, so the inequality is a usual thing and uh, inequality among the population it just can't be completely eliminated or diminished and at the moment where more and more uh, private investors in Russia but the uh, little bit far from the western countries in America they, they just start investing from the um, kind of early age and there is nothing uh, Wrong. Okay, your sounds is off or interrupted by some connection problems. And yeah, Anastasia, could you please repeat it again? Your last sentence, your last ideas, because uh, your internet connection and your voice were switched off. Okay, someone else from the financial services team uh, maybe is able to help uh, Anastasia and uh, try to answer this question again. Oh, okay, uh, could you please one more time repeat uh, the main question? In comparison with uh, in comparison of Libertex with traditional investing. Uh, there was a point that uh, overall uh, Libertex increased availability of investment, like mobility and so on. Um, okay. But there is a point about the risk of growth of inequality in social effects of Libertex. So how 
you can explain this contradiction that overall there are support availability of investing, but uh, as a social effect, they, um, they inc uh, potentially increase inequality. If okay. it's, there is a contradiction the, uh, in these social... points. Uh, your question is about uh, inequality, social inequality in users of uh, the Bitlex platform. Uh, so uh, actually, um, the inequality and uh, it is uh, somehow uh, called price discrimination now, and the company has some social inequality. They try to um, keep experienced uh, investors, experienced traders uh, on the platform. Offering them some trade offs while for newcomers, they just attack them. They charge certain commission or uh, fees for their uh, beginning uh, transactions and they uh, just uh, give them Sorry away. For interruption, but I can't understand you. Like, it just sounds so difficult to understand because of connection. Yeah, Anastasia, I can ask again. Anastasia, maybe you are able to answer this question. I will try to repeat it again. Uh, it's not about the inequality of uh, the different uh, persons, different members of this platform. The question is about um, the two diverse ideas. First of all, uh, this platform provides a great opportunity to invest. And then the second hand, uh, increasing uh, money increasing uh, persons who invested leads to uh, increasing uh, social problems because someone else lost their money, someone else uh, is not so lucky to be a great uh, investor. So how could you explain this problem and uh, what should uh, the government do or what should uh, the platform do to avoid uh, decreasing the level of users and to avoid uh, decreasing the level of interest to this platform and to this uh, area generally. Um, so can you hear me again? <laughs> uh, yes, okay. it works. Okay, fortunately. Uh, so as I said, um, okay, let's start again. Um, I think that uh, Libertex has um, quite good level of entry, uh, $100, because uh, this is not so big on our head, but this is not so much. Uh, so, uh, so this is not less, not big. Uh, so I mean that, um, well, as we know, in especially in Russia, so the investing topic is just raises, and uh, there are not so many uh, professional investors. And one hundred dollars uh, within Russia is uh, this is quite big sum, and so people would think uh, about whether to start invest or not, and whether to do it. Razumne, uh, uh, sorry. Um, and on the other hand, for the person from the West, uh, from this uh, more rich country, they have uh, better invest in, invest, investment culture. Uh, so they little bit more aware of how to distribute money, how to deal with money within investment. And um, so, as I said, uh, we live in capitalist capitalistic system, and this is unavoidable that someone just would, uh, will lose their money and someone will gain their profit. Uh, this is an unavoidable thing. And maybe the uh, level of entry will be in first stage enough uh, just for protecting. And they talked about uh, this problem a little bit, we touched this problem in the previous seminar uh, with other team. Um, so the Russia, they just wanted to, they still wanted, uh, so I don't remember exactly, but uh, 
the, there is this discourse uh, in government that uh, how to protect uh, the beginning investors from losing their money. So as I believe uh, they need to, as I, as I remember, they just, uh, the, begin, the beginners in investment, they should uh, I get some license uh, for investments or I just remember that there exists some uh, state regulations, um, just at least in Russia. Okay, thank you very much. Mm, unfortunately, I not agree with you. And of course, of course, the government regulation is the very important issue, but on the second step. The first of all, uh, the platform is interested in uh, the increasing the value of users and in their success. Uh, because uh, the main promotion, the main tool to promote is uh, to recommend recommendation system. And of course, uh, successful investors are the best uh, providers of uh, this service. And it means that uh, the platform should invest into the learning, to the studying of their users and try to um, grow the level of um, knowledge in uh, investment process and uh, to the rules, how this market works. And of course, uh, the main mm, the main member, the main uh, partner of each platform is the user and increasing their level of knowledge is uh, the main uh, key to success of the platform. So first of all, the platform is interested in into the increasing the level of knowledge. And of course, all the negative social effects will decrease if uh, everyone uh, will be able to invest uh, clever, to be a clever investor. So thank you very much for your answers and the team, the second team number, uh, Goods, please, you're welcome with your questions. Uh, yes, thank you for presentation. And uh, our first question is, um, in your presentation, you said that uh, you can increase your profitability with the help of competent fraud. How is this done and uh, how does the company fight this? I hope uh, we have missed. Do you hear me? Mm, could you please uh, say something else? Yes, yeah, so Albert, let's, let's start and please uh, open uh, this slide of the presentation. Uh, about that um, team asked. Yeah, my friends, nice to see you, Silberg. I ready to answer. Uh, sorry, we need a uh, little time for this. Sorry. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Complicated question.
Uh, there are different types of fraud. So, for example, a group of people creates a site. Often, it is just a landing page that urges the public to invest in earn lots of money or some company position itself as a broker. But in fact, it only collects deposits from traders, often without even faking activity on the interbank market. They just keep issuing empty promises and so on. And uh, forex. Uh, it's such companies to the blacklist so that's how they uh, fight with it thank you Our next question. Um, there are many negative reviews about this company on the internet. Many people say that uh, this is a scam company that is just pulling money out of people. Also, um, many complain that it is difficult to withdraw money from uh, there. Is there any regulation of um, these issues in the company's policy so that customers have a greater guarantee? Um, okay. Uh, I will answer this question based on my experience. Uh, Libertex is just a platform where you can just only trade. It's a, a marketplace uh, where uh, it, and you can manipulate and uh, increase the uh, profit. But uh, the, everything depends on the broker. There is a third part uh, who are uh, involved in this process, you just you just uh, you just have to choose uh, the right broker who are reliable, who have a strong position in the uh, this market, and who uh, has a certain certification, a certain uh, level uh, of safety uh, in this market, and try to uh, work with them. And uh, they are, uh, you and your broker will assign certain, certain regulations, uh, agreement that will, uh, uh, that, that will uh, regulate, that will manage the relationship between the broker and the, the um, consumer and maybe, maybe the users. So um, it, everything depends on the broker, not on, on the Libertex uh, platform. Uh, we should we should uh, distinguish what is a platform and uh, just offer uh, the piece where you can work, but the broker uh, is uh, chosen by the users. I hope uh, now it's clear without any interruptions. If not, please tell me. Yeah, January is clear. And the uh, last question, please. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last uh, question from us. Uh, what is better for your platform? So that uh, regular customers with more experience prevail among clients or newcomers to trading on stock exchange who can lose their money due to an experience and negatively affect the company's image? Uh, OK, thank you for your question. Um, for our platform, who has a, a long life in this market, and they don't, they don't need uh, any new newcomers. Uh, they have, uh, they have a limited amount of users, investors, and businesses, companies, uh, people who are in trading with a great experience. They are just working with them. And uh, they are not interested in. The, I, I think. I think it's my opinion. They are not interested in the new players now, because uh, they sh they must uh, increase their uh, their position after the COVID uh, case. That's why, uh, in my opinion, now they are not interested in newcomers because they are uh, they they are not uh, revealing some new videos for uh, beginners. And uh, based on this, I can I can state that they are not interested in uh, newcomers. Um, Asilbek, I agree with you, but um, 
I believe there exists another point of view that uh, uh, the people who lose their money in this bottom platform, they are quite useful for this platform because um, the money, they remains in Libertax accounts and it can make a profit from this. And in addition to the money, this, this is not a site this is not the fault of website uh, because it simply it simply could show the trends uh, trend of price movements and everything depends not price movements so the price flow I guess and everything depends on people themselves mostly. Okay, hey, thank you very much. Uh, I think that it's a great result to the end of our lessons uh, we move to not only uh, debates between different teams but uh, comes to uh, debates inside the particular team <laughs> thank you it's it's really interesting and i think that different diverse opinions is uh, the best uh, way to find uh, great conclusions and uh, to find great results so thank you very much for your presentation and for your debates now we will have a short break if you don't mind uh i'm supposed to have the break for uh, 15 minutes and see you again in 12 10. Uh, if someone else is not agree, please let me know and we will have uh, the break longer according to our schedule but i suppose to you to have only on this time slots uh if you don't mind see you again uh in 12 10. okay thank you for the last presentation and <clears throat> it will be the presentation about the transport and delivery um i think that we'll have uh, very interesting debate. So uh, we're looking for a presentation and prepare a conversation. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, so let's start. One minute, please. I have yeah, problems. Sure. My problem. Okay. All right, so we'll talk about Yandex Taxi today. Um, let's start with a description of uh, the business model. So for the key partners, um, we say that for Yandex Taxi, it's taxi parks, uh, or in Russian, taxaparki, uh, of the cities where Yandex Taxi is functioning. Uh, also, they are in partnership with different banks like Rus Finance Bank, Tinkoff Bank, uh, service companies such as movie platforms or podcast companies, which offer some services for uh, Yandex Taxi users and design agencies which are working uh, with the index taxi as well. For the key activities, we uh, assume that it's transportation of clients and deliveries, of course, providing safe rides and conflict resolution between clients and drivers if such appear. Uh, for key resources, we say that it's uh, partner drivers with a wide range of cars, uh, ad campaigns, um, for value propositions, we say that for users, it is uh, safe driving and uh, time economy. So you can save a lot of time while being uh, on the road. Um, ability to choose the class of the ride or the car. So like uh, econom, comfort uh, and others. Uh, and also some special offers and extra services uh, like delivery or uh, Yandex Lavka, which is also working with uh, Yandex Taxi. So for sellers, uh, it is uh, the value of having a pool of loyal clients which, uh, who choose Yandex Taxi uh, and the ability to develop in more cities when, uh, where a service is advertised. So for customer relationships, uh, it is mostly B2C relationship and also online website or app. Uh, there is also uh, an ability to choose taxi via the phone number, but it's not very common for users. They mostly prefer websites or apps. Uh, channels, yeah, as I mentioned, website and app. Uh, for customer segments, we say that clients uh, of different categories use Yandex Taxi. Those are businessmen, uh, families, students, even organizations and companies uh, organize uh, some um, transportation of their clients or uh, of their stuff. 
So for cost uh, structure, we say that it's technological infrastructure, including own cars of drivers, uh, salaries to permanent employees, marketing expenditure, and for revenue streams, it is, of course, the direct sell of a ride or delivery, uh, surge pricing, and premium versions of uh, the taxi drives. Uh, according to the video creation platform Times Mobile App, also this platform is available through a website and through phone calls. Uh, so it's a wide range of uh, availability. Care activity is transportation for clients and deliveries. Um, delivery as uh, well as goods from the company to clients uh, uh, and uh, um, property of clients to set uh, location. Uh, set uh, safe and comfortable communication between uh, drivers and clients that based on the um, interface of the app and um, trust system uh, that based on uh, rating system of the company. Uh, price discovery is um, price uh, established by algorithms platform and um, it depends on the uh, period of activity, uh, level of um, demand and uh, um, in terms of uh, that clients um, set. Um, review system uh, works in uh, both way for clients and for drivers. Uh, they both can uh, rate each other and make a reviews and that uh, uh, build the trust in their relationship and uh, reputation of the company. Um, value de delivery. Um, K-Values uh, value proposal propositions as a variety of tariffs uh, that depends on the surgency and the comfort, uh, comfortability of the um, ride. A rating system uh, for clients and for drivers, comfortable and safe communication uh, and the rights uh, that based on interface and uh, roles of the company, a lot of it on based prices that attractive to customers because it's a clear pricing system. Uh, transaction content, um, it is a service, transportation and delivery of goods from companies to clients and to clients' property to set the location. Uh, participants, it may be assumed as a B2B, uh, as B2C uh, com uh, company, uh, but with variations uh, where it can be interpreted as a uh, C2C company uh, where we assumed uh, drivers as a users and clients of this platform and uh, B2B in terms of different collaborations and partnerships and uh, geographic scope of the company is regional and available uh, everywhere where driver wants to uh, work and uh, he can use an, uh, he or she can use the app. Next speaker, please. moment we have a problem with speaker I will continue in one Вадим ты здесь ребят я за него сейчас почитаю у тебя есть да что да я открываю его документ да давай блин ну как так Yandex provides its users with uh, around-the-clock taxi service. For example, it uh, has been operating in St. Petersburg since March uh, 2013. 
um, almost uh, 4,000 cars from city taxi companies are connected to the service. Everyday orders uh, Yandex Taxi are carried out by an average of 120 drivers. Uh, to, 1,200 drivers um, every month. Yandex Taxi in St. Petersburg is used by uh, 53,000 of people. 56% um, of, of them order a car only once a month, and 4% of your passengers call it a taxi 10 times a month and more and often. And more often. Uh, for drivers and sales, the advantage is a free. Uh, um, key revenue stream in Yandex Taxi earns money by taking a percentage from drivers for trips they make. Moreover, Yandex Taxi has the ability to rent cars for which uh, the service takes a certain percentage. In 2019, the turnover of Yandex Taxi amounted uh, for 181 million dollars. Uh, pricing mechanism on Yandex Taxi, most orders are made in the afternoon. Uh, pricing also depends on this. The average check for such trips is uh, 330 rubles. It is cheaper to take a taxi in the middle of the day. In the evening, uh, the cost of trips increases. The most expensive uh, time is uh, night. There is also due to the fact that night there is a large proportion of long distance trips. Uh, price and discrimination so based on period of order and level of comfortable or well, comfort. Thank you. Sorry. Now I'm going to tell you about the type of business model which is used by Yandex Taxi. Yandex Taxi uh, follows two-sided platform model. That means that by app, uh, Yandex Go, y Yandex Taxi uh, ties demand and supply. It provides uh, drivers with information about customers and customers with information about drivers, taking a commission for its services. That's all about. Uh, type of business model. Это снова Вадим должен был читать, да? Вадим? Ой, блин. Ну, я это могу, наверное, прочитать, только скиньте файлик, где он. Вот, я нашел. Я прочитаю просто со слайда, все нормально, это быстрее будет. Окей, но я файлик нашел, он в том же файле, где и было. There are several uh, rivals of Yandex Taxi. Um, the first one is controversial case is uh, Uber. Um, it has, uh, it had several advantages. Uh, optimal price quality ratio, lack of uh, dispatching service, and high attention to travel safety. Uh, but we should mention that uh, now the Yandex Taxi has a special contract with a, um, a special partnership with Uber. Uh, they create their um, company, uh, their uh, company that includes both services and operate together. So we can't uh, assume that uh, Uber is an average uh, um, competitor of uh, Yandex Taxi. Uh, the other one is uh, get uh, uh, it. Uh, um, the advantages of forget is a bit uh, of the professionalism of drivers, the most comfortable working condition for drivers, and emphasize of uh, service and corporate companies. Uh, it provides a comfortable service for more than 12,000 uh, organizations. Um, the second one is City Mobile. Uh, its advantages are an open uh, order. You can see the start and the end of point uh, to order distribution robots often to sign a rating system in the company and the rules for receiving new orders. City Mobile is a part of food and transportation joint venture created by Mailru Group and Sberbank. Uh, and the last one is Maxim. Uh, its advantages are not only the ability to transport passengers, the company also provides cargo transportation services. It also deals with long distance travel. In addition to 
work in Russia, it is a gradually beginning to enter the market of the near abroad. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, regulation of platform taxi services uh, in the world and in our country. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, European Court of Justice uh, decided to regulate Uber and other platforms as traditional taxi services. Uh, this was done to equalize platform companies with traditional ones. Uh, on the uh, 15th of December 2020, European Commission uh, published the Digital uh, Services Act DSA, and the Digital Markets Act DMA. The aim of the DSA is to uh, rebalance the responsibilities of users, platforms and uh, public authorities uh, in uh, European countries. Um, well, uh, in the USA, um, as a contest, any platforms uh, has no limits. So they are following the strict free market model. Uh, separation, protect protectionism and uh, Staged uh, state su uh, support. It's about China. As usual, uh, author authorian uh, government controls everything and decides which companies are allowed to stay and and uh, which have t to be gone. Well, as for Russia. <clears throat> uh, Yandex Taxi is not uh, responsible for any uh, casualty. All the liability is on the driver, as an active executor and a juridical person. Um, there is a new taxi law, uh, which is debated now. However, it doesn't change the situation in right way. It only postulates the liability on a driver uh, while cutting down his or her compensation to passenger by 2 million rubles. So, that's all about uh, legal regulation. So now let's move to social effects of a platform. For positive effects, we can say that Yandex Taxi for sure provides safety and uh, allows users to save their time. Uh, it improves productivity of clients. Uh, it's very important for business and for student uh, uh, clients who use Yandex Taxi. Uh, also, Yandex Taxi makes sure clients can give feedback and also receive feedback from the driver. Uh, and helps in socially difficult situations, like if you uh, forgot something in the taxi or uh, just want to write somewhat a jalaba uh, to something that happened uh, on your ride. Uh, and for negative social effects, we can say that a platform cannot control all the incidents or avoid them because it's pretty much uh, still driving and uh, nobody is insured uh, that nothing uh, bad can happen uh, on your ride. Uh, also, it increases cultural dissatisfactions. Uh, there are many cases of prejudice towards uh, Yandex Taxi drivers on the internet, uh, so it still increases uh, this kind of thing. Uh, also, Yandex Taxi is still not the safest service, um, as well as any kind of driving service, we assume. And also, um, Yandex Taxi supports unstable ecological behavior because. Uh, their cars are not uh, ecologically like eco-friendly, so uh, it's bad for ecology to use Yandex you know, Taxi. Yeah, that's it for social effects. Prospects of Yandex Taxi. Uh, so uh, Yandex Taxi is now entering uh, the freight market. According to media reports, at the start, the aggregator will offer two tariffs. Uh, the first one presents passengers with a cargo compartment, for example, Citroën Berlingo and uh, Lada, Lada Largos. Uh, 
Uh, in the second, small tonnage vans with a carrying capacity of up to three and a half tons. Cars not older than uh, uh, 2008 will be allowed to work with the service. Also, Yandex Taxi, the Yandex Taxi is keen to automize delivery services steadily, switching to autonomous delivery system. In November 2019, the company presented its autonomous delivery robot, Yandex Rover. Based on the same self-driving technology the company is using for its autonomous cars. In March 2020, uh, Yandex announced plans uh, to launch a worldwide fleet of robot taxis using its Travels Car software within the next few years with a license to begin testing in the United States from uh, June uh, uh, 2020. So th thank you very much for uh, your attention. If you have any cash questions, please ask. We'll yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Of course, we have a question that's the rule, the rule of our seminar. Uh, team Labor, please, you're welcome. Yes, thank you. We have, I think, only two questions for now. And uh, the first question is, uh, you said that uh, Yandex Taxi increases cultural dissatisfaction. Uh, so uh, does the company somehow, somehow yes, uh, fight with these increase? Or they just say that, uh, OK, it's normal? Okay, thank you for, for the question. Um, so we can say that for cultural dissatisfactions, um, what Yandex Taxi can do, they have the rating for the drivers. So uh, you can either not really look at the driver, but look at the numbers and look at the feedback which is left by other uh, people. And if something bothers you, you can change the driver. Um, unfortunately, this cultural prejudice towards people of different nationalities working in Yandex Taxi is uh, not a very solvable problem. Um, and what Yandex Taxi has done once, uh, they decided to remove uh, the names of um, the drivers and see if that somehow affects um, the orders by other uh, clients. And what they found out is that when uh, the person cannot see the name and uh, like the picture, uh, but they can see only the rating and uh, positive feedback, then they are um, like they have a tendency to stay, stick to stay with this order um, and not have any uh, dissatisfaction culturally. So if that answers your question, then thanks. Yes, thank you. The next question, please. You said that Yannick's taxi provides safety. And uh, how can they uh, prove that they provide them? So uh, how can they affect on drivers uh, in the law sector? Uh, do they have any regulations for drivers? OK, we'll think for a little bit and then come back with an answer, OK? Коля, ты говорил про э, legal regulations, что там типа тяжело с ними судиться, может быть, что-то можешь по этому поводу сказать? Так, я чуть-чуть это... Мне чуть трудно, давайте они скинут в чатик, и сейчас я быстренько гляну. Это, по-моему, такого не было, да? Или ну было? да, да, подожди. Окей, сейчас. Все их повторим просто. And maybe print in the chat. If you can. 
Yes, okay. So, where is your question? Yeah, I agree, I agree. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, give us a minute. Ну, мне кажется, все водители точно зарегистрированы в какой-то их базе данных. Я вопрос формулировался там чуть-чуть иначе, но я могу на него ответить. То есть я искал. Давайте я, наверное, тогда отвечу. Ну, как бы там по факту идея в том, что а, чтобы для э, зарегаться... Я как... им отвечать, потому что, мне кажется, по времени мы уже сильно просаживаем. Все, окей. Давайте. То есть, чтобы он он бордит, вы он plus a phone number. As we can see, the company has much information about drivers uh, to filter them and to control them. I believe that's the answer. Yes, thank you. Yeah, do you have uh, the third question? If you don't have, I am able to help you. Team Labor. No, actually, we don't have. Yeah, uh, I will help you with the third question um, to the transport and delivery team. So, uh, could you please describe me the situation with the Yandex taxi due to the current crisis? Uh, was the company uh, ready for um, all the limitations? Uh, according to the situation and uh, could you please describe me in a few words your opinion about the perspectives of the company uh, is the company ready to accelerate according to the new uh, environment new rules of the working hours of the office and a lot of other and uh, is uh, the environment positive for further uh, development or the company uh, don't have any plan. So your ideas about the current crisis effects onto the, uh, this uh, platform. Could you please describe me just in a few words? Okay. Can we have a minute? Yeah, of course. Я, в принципе, могу начать отвечать. Uh, у меня есть пару мыслей, вот, если хотите, можете подхватить просто, чтобы... Единственное, что я, я вначале скажу про то, что, типа, никто не мог быть полностью готов к тому, что mm -hmm. произойдет, и все. А так, я думаю... Okay. И, и, если что, я потом дополню. Хорошо. Будет интересно услышать твои идеи. 
So um, I guess I can start and then maybe my colleagues will um, proceed. So first of all, of course, nobody was 100% ready for what happened uh, due to coronavirus situation. And uh, uh, what's possible to be said here is that uh, Yandex Taxi prepared uh, their drivers for the first uh, couple of months, I think, of the pandemic when uh, we had this like massage regime. And uh, personally, for me, it was a surprise that all the drivers were like wearing masks. But um, since then, when uh, the pandemic was not on its highest, uh, drivers do not really follow any safety guidelines, uh, which is not uh, a great situation for Yandex Taxi reputation, I guess. And uh, on the internet, there are also a lot of opinions on that uh, topic. And as for future development, uh, I think that Yandex Taxi is probably the strongest uh, company on the market right now because they have um, um, a lot of influencers who are like making uh, advertisement for them and uh, uh, people genuinely trust uh, Yandex Taxi because well Yandex is something that we had for a long time as a searching engine, uh, engine and uh, its reputation not only as uh, a taxi company but as a huge uh, company in general. So that's my opinion maybe my colleagues want. Uh, uh, I want to add that uh, Yandex uh... Yeah, they have a problem with um, drivers who not follow a lot of rules uh, during uh, last month um, in, uh, in terms of uh, pandemic situation, but they try to implement some uh, adjustment in their app to try to get the feedback about the situation, uh, like uh, after your uh, right, you can mention that uh, the driver was without mask or uh, don't follow some other uh, rules and uh, uh, they try to observe the situation and uh, somehow to cope with it. Also about the possible um, development in the future, uh, they, as we mentioned, have a lot of perspective and uh, uh, they try to um, uh, merge in a new uh, fields of market uh, like freight and uh, autonomous delivery system um, and um, they have uh, like uh, in compare with uh, in comparison with uh, the, their uh, competitiveness uh, competitors they have uh, a lot of um, possibility and uh, uh, budget to um, Makes this uh, to be in this development uh, faster and uh, um, better, and like they have a better base for them and better capital uh, in terms of human and uh, in um, um, softs. So that's how. Okay, thank you very much. You. Um, I I agree with you, and I think generally that. This is a very sad uh, situation because Yandex has uh, a lot of uh, money due to the other uh, companies, um, according to the search uh, system, and a lot of others. And um, I try to find try to find something interesting about any unexpected steps, about any uh, interesting conclusions or fast uh, movings to the uh, new directions of research and development department of the Yandex Taxi, but I don't uh, have uh, found anything. And uh, I think that it is a very sad story when the huge venture is not able to uh, adopt himself into the, in the unexpected uh, circumstances. And it means that uh, it is um, not flexible uh, company or maybe um, it is mm, Maybe uh, people inside the company are not flexible, but uh, I'm feeling sad about that. Uh, the, this company that um, takes uh, so much attention to research and finding something new, new opportunities and uh, new steps is not able to find something into the COVID uh, circumstances, COVID. Uh, environment and I think that it is a great chance to move forward and to find uh, anything new but we don't think but we don't see 
it. So thank you very much for your answers and uh, the last debate with the team, um, team social platforms, please, you're welcome. Okay, thank you for your presentation. It was really nice. And our first question is, in your presentation, you show an Alex of Yandex Taxi, but they are all platforms. May you name competitors that are traditional taxi services? If not, why? If so, which ones? Vadim? Mm. Походу, его нет. Um, Кто-то помнит на скидку, потому что действительно у нас типа. Я абсолютно не разбираюсь в сервисах. Сейчас глянем. Может быть, может кто-нибудь сейчас посмотреть старую презентацию, потому что я не могу на одном пути ее открыть. Возможно, там что-то oh, было. Давай сейчас. Она должна быть в документах в диалоге в ВК. У меня она на компе сохранена, сейчас, секунду. Секунду. Открывается. Так, а там у нас были конкуренты, да? По идее, должны быть, я точно не помню. Мой русов координейшн, риск. А, а, не. Нет. Ну, давайте что-нибудь ответим, типа, какие-нибудь там get такси или что-то. Это же традиционные такси-сервисы. А вот я... Окей. Ну, просто так, на скидку, я не знаю. Сейчас, давайте еще секунду, я гляну, типа, просто рынок такси РФ. В смысле, по, ну, там, не знаю, какой-нибудь картинке. Максим, Гет, такси... Вот Максим, по-моему, традиционно точно относится. Да, да, да. Сейчас я могу ответить. Давайте, давай. Okay, so uh, we suggest, uh, we suppose that um, some competitors that we can uh, uh, use here is uh, Taxi Vizot, which is uh, just a taxi company, like they don't have any other services, uh, Maxim and City Mobile. Uh, but we're not sure about City Mobile because if I'm not mistaken, they also uh, provide uh, car sharing um, services, but This is something to check, <laughs> honestly. Uh, and also Get uh, Taxi is a competitor, which is um, um, just uh, a traditional taxi service. And I can add that uh, because of uh, the, uh, the online form, uh, Yandex can't, uh, um, In Yandex situation, we can't count many companies that provide traditional service as a competitors because of big difference in uh, their um, uh, their profit they operate. They have two different number to compare them. That's all. Next question, please. Um, okay, our next question is about regulations. Uh, how does the platform uh, regulate the activities of drivers? Uh, as we know, they pass photo control, but the driver can use uh, photos taken earlier or photo editor to pass the control in, in an unfair way. Um, and what methods uh, uh, can Yandex Taxi use to solve uh, such problems? Uh, well, as uh, we have uh, said already, um, Yandex uh, demands uh, from its driver's uh, passport, uh, driver license, and uh, documents on the car and uh, phone number. So, um, uh, Yandex uh, have, I believe, uh, a great package of documents on each driver. Uh, so, uh, Yandex can check, um, I know, the um, responsibility or um, the experience of uh, 
of a driver by these documents. Oh, okay. I, uh, it's uh, about when people use driving license of uh, another person. For example, when their account uh, was blocked or they don't have uh, enough uh, driving um, or driving qual qualification, and they can use driving license of another person and took photos of another person and then pass control using their for uh, these photos and do not photo themselves in that case uh, uh, they will have to uh, scam the, the passport too so you need a passport and a license and if you uh, change a photo in the license you still need to change a photo uh, in a passport and I believe it's not an easy operation and it's illegal so I don't think that okay I understand that it's illegal and uh, but how Yandex control it maybe some people can uh, act illegal to uh, continue use this platform and be a driver also if their account was blocked maybe they uh, maybe Yandex have some um, special strict regulations yeah I will add that uh, the issue is about the general law uh, that regulates the relationships between Yandex and drivers uh, if you are an employee employer of uh, any company, you will have a very strict uh, law of your relationships with your company. Uh, according to this example, uh, does you as a driver has any relationships that are regulated by the any laws uh, with the Yandex or don't have? Okay, give me a minute. Как будет договор? Agreement, можно сказать, или нечто такое. А, боже, контракт. Типа... Просто, насколько я понимаю, поправьте меня, водитель заключает именно контракт с Яндекс э, такси, то есть как бы он не имплей, как бы он, ну, партнер, я не знаю, вот помог как-то так. Тебе лучше, наверное, знать. Ну да. Окей. Okay. Um, so. <coughs> um, Juridically, um, a driver makes a contact with a Yandex taxi. Uh, so, a driver, not an employee of this company, uh, he is uh, some sort of partner with it. So, of course, uh, legal restrictions are um, slightly less strict and maybe uh, due to um, some occasions uh, you can uh, you you can um, use other person's license but I don't think that it's um, a very common problem and a very common situation. That's all about this question. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and the last one, please. Uh -huh. Thank you for your presentation, guys. I have a question, the last one. Um, in some countries, for example, um, in Germany, taxi labor unions lobbied ban of Uber and other taxi apps, like in, in your case, 
because they would lose the competition on the market with them when Uber has lower transaction costs and lower prices for clients. In your presentation, you've also mentioned a lot of regulations on taxi platforms. What do you think? Are state regulations really necessary here if uh, lower city prices are the main value for citizens? Okay, thank you. Just a few seconds. Подождите, я делаю вид, что у меня не записан ответ. Да чего тянуть-то? Давайте ответим и все. Окей, well, uh, this is a very debatable question. Um, personally, I believe that competitive market in taxi services is uh, rather efficient. So, if uh, traditional companies uh, cannot compete uh, for customers, they should uh, yield to platform companies, which are much more efficient. Ha however, we should not forget about social effects of uh, such changes. Um, well, in long term, uh, we can be absolutely sure that platforms will provide uh, customers with at least uh, lower prices. They have already uh, started doing so, by the way. Uh, but uh, losing market uh, will de destroy many jobs in traditional taxi companies. Mm. Uh, this uh, effect uh, should be softened by the government. Well, uh, summing up, uh, government uh, should not restrict activities of platform uh, taxi companies, but uh, somehow uh, help workers in traditional taxi services, for example, uh, paying subsidies, or support traditional companies as firms. It could be lower taxes. Um, however, this uh, support should be uh, tempor temporary uh, while uh, workers are turning to platform companies. That's my personal opinion. It's not, I don't know, <laughs> optimal, but there are some ideas in it. Okay, hey, great. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your presentation. Uh, yeah, it's very wide and it's always a great pleasure to see uh, such a good presentation with um, different uh, presenters and uh, um, a lot of uh, useful information. Thank you very much and for each team for debates. So uh, this is the end of our seminars. Uh, thanks a lot for each uh, person who uh, worked and um, it's very uh, important for us uh, to check our environment uh, to check all the platforms that we uh, have seen uh, to understand the nature how it works and uh, the further direction of uh, each platforms of uh, our world thank you very much uh, of course um, i shall return with your scores it would be soon uh, just i will confirm it with the professor and uh, please don't forget to send me uh, your list of uh, team members. It is uh, extremely important for me to show this list uh, to our all department's office uh, because um, it is very important for that. And I will have uh, real problems if I don't uh, do this. So um, if you have any question, please ask me. If you don't have, mm -hmm. uh, I shall send you your scores as soon as possible. I, um, I think it would be in a few days, two or three. Should I send you a presentation, our presentation? Or... Um, no, according oh, to the okay. rules, you should uh, do this on uh, the day before the seminar, uh, but you uh, didn't make it and um, I think that uh, it would be decrease your scores according to the rules. I, I, I'm not able to do anything else. Uh, but uh, I don't need your presentation right now, but it is very interesting. I will 
I uh, use this idea in this course too. Anything else? So if you don't have, uh, I shall return uh, soon. If you have any question, please ask me right now or uh, on my email. And after your course, if you will have any question, please you feel free to, to connect with me and to discuss it uh, and uh, to find any opportunities to increase it. Maybe if you are uh, not satisfied by your course, but I hope that everything uh, would be great and your course will satisfy your uh, absolutely. So if you don't have any questions, thank you very much. And uh, please wait for my scores on your post as soon as possible in a few days. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Блин. Про пресс-то я и забыл. Ну ладно. Ну все. Простите. Да ничего, мы все забыли. Это как бы... В прошлый раз было так же, но просто он решил, что что-то не отправилось, поэтому... Ну ничего. В следующий раз не забудем. Ладно, всем спасибо за работу, всем пока. Пока.